in this series I'm going to capture some thoughts as it relates to high-tech industry. At Trians we have built uh, institutional knowledge of uh, high-tech industry having had the opportunity to serve high-tech clients over the course of last 10 to 15 years. In this piece, I'm going to generally trying to describe when we talk about high-tech industry, how do you look at it given the evolving landscape and the significant change that has happened, especially over the close of last 10 years. So if you want to think about high-tech, let's start with the most common type of companies that you refer to in high tech which are companies that build a, a form of a product that we can all uh, physically use uh, understand and, uh, and, and appreciate its form factor so think about companies that make physical hardware and technology so you can think about phones so companies that make physical devices, we're not talking about the service providers like Verizon or AT&T or Sprint, we're talking about companies that make phones. So these are companies like Motorola. You would consider Motorola as a manufacturer of phone. Think about companies like Nokia or HTC. <coughs> will come to Apple. Apple is an interesting case. And uh, you also have other hardware manufacturers that make other types of physical devices, right? So think about still the PCs, so HP, Dell, Gateway. You think about hardware devices around storage. So companies like Seagate, Hitachi, and some of the advanced storage that is built by companies like NetApp, EMC. You also have hardware that uh, companies built for the networking technologies, commonly looked at as routers and switches. So the big uh, kahuna there is Cisco. You also have Juniper, Avaya, and so on. So as you can see, these are hardware companies that make different types of hardware products and that they're sold to uh, consumers all the way to enterprises. Now let's, in parallel to hardware, also look at companies that primarily focus on software. So you can think about software companies. You know, the immediately that comes to mind is Oracle. You also think about a lot of software when you think about companies like SAP. You also think about software when you think about Adobe, Autodesk, specialized software for CAD CAM. And then uh, you can also think about software companies like uh, VMware, specialized software, virtualization software. Now the interesting phenomena, which I'll explain later, is there's a lot of convergence between companies that build only hardware and companies that build software. So as an example, Oracle acquired what would have been a typical hardware company known hardware company that built servers and was known as Sun. So Oracle you can't really now call as a software company and you can't really call it as a hardware company so you, you really have emergence of a new type of company. But let's come and uh, talk about uh, that a little bit later want to address another and then you have these new companies now you think about them as service company or you can think about them as online businesses 
or you can think about these companies as a conversion between media service providers and technology so let's take the example in this case of service companies now, well let's you know, take an example of Yahoo now as you can contrast Yahoo doesn't really make a hardware or it doesn't quite really sell a software it offers a set of services services that companies use for managing their mail managing the, the infrastructure around certain calendaring events and so on or well, you could also put Google in there obviously we have all come to know the great service of search but Google is now offering a whole bunch of other things through Google Apps, Google Plus, and so on. And then, interestingly, you can also look at uh, the newer companies in this segment. So, think about companies like eBay, which is offering really a service for uh, buying and selling across large communities <clears throat> now if you were to take a further nuanced view of this you have this emergence of new players a little bit different from Yahoo Google and eBay and these new players are really built around agreeably the theme of service but more importantly they are built around a larger social community. In other words, they're not targeting an individual customer like the companies that I mentioned, hardware or software, but more for the larger community. So in this particular case, let's start to think about companies like LinkedIn or Facebook or Zynga. Now, if we go back and look at the evolution of high-tech companies from pure hardware to software to conversions of hardware to software to then conversion of service online businesses to media to the emergence of new players through this current trend of social media, you ask yourself, what is scope of high-tech industry and really in in a conventional sense I think hardware is now an intersection of pure technology maybe it's an intersection of what you might call as media you might even bring in some intersection of retail and then finally a provisioning of service and to make it more clearer, think about intersection of technology and retail and think Apple. If you want to think technology and media, think about Google, Netflix, and Dora. And if you want to think about intersection of technology and service, you can think about companies like Yahoo <coughs> and also I guess Amazon at this point I'm going to stop and we're going to see if we can uh, take this to the next level